I gave my oldest like 20, 30 bucks or something like that in the key to the hotel and dropped him off at the park and told him that dad will be back. But that's where I got popped. Before I came to the Crossroads Mission, my life was uh, a wreck upon a wreck. I was doing a lot of bad things, uh, some really awful things. I've hurt a lot of people during this process. I turned a lot of things towards God. I, I blamed Him for everything that was going on in my life. Around 09, I spoke to my father and we came into a very large lump sum of money between our taxes and um, a coin that I ran across that I sold on auction, a little over $19,000. Uh, we decided to move to Arizona and get out and have a fresh start. But I began to use basically every day. So I had to kind of try to do my best to conceal it with my wife. It, it took control over me after several years and it got to the point where I couldn't hide it no more. The end of 2018 into the 2019 is where I found myself, I couldn't go home. When I got picked up and I was released from jail, I realized that I couldn't go home and it hit me hard. I found myself pulled to my knees. I realized that I've lost everything. The main situation that brought me where I'm at right now, the day that I dropped my boys off, I gave my oldest like 20, 30 bucks or something like that in the key to the hotel and dropped him off at the park and told him that dad will be back. And basically what I was doing was making a run and it was gonna be my last and final, but that's where I got popped. And that one fresh moment in my life where I realized that I just decided <clears throat> to choose drugs and some lady that just didn't, didn't love me whatsoever. She was there because of what I had. I chose them over my family and my boys. And that would be the main situation with God interacting in my life at that moment that led me to where I'm at. I just want to say, you know, I, I thank God for the men that he put in my life here at the Crossroads Mission at that moment to really open me up and realize that I have to do this for myself this time. But coming here to Crossroads Mission and really facing the fact of what I had to go through to become what I am now, that, that was tough. That was probably, that was the toughest thing I had to do in my whole life. My spiritual life has changed in ways that I, I never, never figured it would. As myself, my spiritual life has changed, as I was saying, in my speech, my actions, uh, my words, my thought process. Um, I, I'm no angel whatsoever. By no means am I, am I even perf near perfect. I believe the Holy Spirit is still working on me as well as God. He is still piecing things back together that has been shattered beyond recognition. I used to curse God. I used to blame everything on Him. I used to push everything off on Him. That It was always His fault that He did this, He did that. But everything that I did wrong was my fault. The most important thing that has happened to me being here at the Crossroads Mission is my recovery. This is something that I've been praying on ever since I came to Crossroads Mission, is for God to put my family back in my life. And long story short, behold, he took a bad situation and turned it for good, introduced me back to my brother that I haven't seen since I was a kid, and then also my wife opened her heart to me and told me that she had a huge change of heart. She knows that the boys need their father in their life. And she began to proceed to tell me that the boys have been asking about me left and right, that they want to see me. And we get to see each other the day after tomorrow. It's been almost three and a half, three years, three and a half years since I've seen them. If I was to say something about Crossroads Mission, I would have to say that it is a very God-filled, spirit-loving place. All of the staff here, they have the heart and they have the ability to reach out to people in ways that I could never fathom. When I got here, I was hatred. It was full of hate, my life was. But when I left here, 
I was full of love. I was full of joy, happiness, excitement about life, goodness in my life. I had a sense of direction in my life, peace in my life. I had hope in my life again. I actually began to feel the love again. I began to reach out to other people again to be of service. I acquired all this at Crossroads Mission. I'm so thankful and grateful that God has a place like the Crossroads Mission where you can come and you can find a new path in life, a new way, a new direction. If you're just willing to open up and climb out of the box or the hole that you're in by reaching out and listening to what the staff have to say. Don't take it for granted. Don't just think that they, they, they're saying that they know where you've been because they do know where you've been. They've walked that road. They've been down that path. I'm so, so grateful and thankful for the Crossroads Mission because they saved my life.